today I'm going to check a photo cell and kind of got an easy way to check a string of lights that are out that are on a photo cell is to take a water bottle and cut off the end here and then just wrap it with tape like duct tape of course I want to get all the water out anyway I'll wrap this with duct tape or foil tape and then I can slip it right over the photo cell Got some foil tape right here. I'm just going to wrap the whole thing and this will seal the, the light out. I don't want to cave it in and enough room to slip it over the photo cell. So I just don't want to squeeze it too much. Anyway, you get the idea. I'll wrap this all the way around, cover it so there's no openings, and then that'll be my photo cell cover. Nice and easy. Anyway, there's my finished photo cell cover. Here's my finished photo cell cover. I'll just slip this right over the top. That'll keep the light out and allow the lights to turn on so I can check the system, check the uh, string of lights. Good to go. So it worked out perfectly. I was able to repair the lights that I needed to, test it out, test the uh, lights, and cover the photo cell without leaving a bunch of tape residue on the photo cell or you know marks and stuff on the photo cell or stickiness that eventually may cause the photo cell to malfunction. This was able to seal out the light and I can turn the lights on. Uh, some buildings will have a switch for the photo cell where you can manually turn it on you won't need this, but if yours doesn't, uh, then you can use something like this to cover up your photo cell, check your lights, do what you gotta do, keep everything going.